Hi everyone, first let me introduce myself. My full name is Akila Nui Naziha. You can call me Akila. I'm 8th grade in Wan Imokiri Junior High School. Now, I'm gonna tell you about the legend of Roro Chungdang. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Prambanan. The people lived peacefully. However, soon their happy lives were disturbed by Penking Kingdom. The king Bandung Bandawaso went to occupy Prambanan. He was a main king. The war between Pramanan and Pingin could be avoided. Pramanan lost the war and led by the new king, Bandung Pondawasa. Pingin could win because Bandung Pondawasa had the supernatural power. His soldiers were not only humans but also genius. Those creatures about always avoided Bandung Pondawasa. They always did whatever Bandung Pondawasa asked them to do. The king of Prambanan had a beautiful daughter. Her name was Roro Chongrang. Bandung Bodoso fell in love with her and wanted to marry her. If you want to marry me, you have built a thousand temples in just one night, said Roro Chongrang. She hated Bandung Bodoso because he made the people of Prambanan suffer. What? Impossible! You, you just give me an excuse for not marrying me, said Bandung Bodoso. But he did not give up. He asked the genius to help him. Meanwhile, Roro Chungrang heard from the maid that the building of thousand temples was almost finished. She was so scared. She did not want to marry Bandung Pandawasa. And then she had the great idea. She asked all the maid to help her. Please prepare a lot of straw and mortar. Come on, hurry up, said Roro Chungrang. All those maids were confused. They did not know why. Roro Chungrang asked them to prepare a lot of straw and mortar in the middle of the night. Listen, all those jeans are building the temples, right? We have to stop them by burning a straw and make some noises by pounding the mortar. The jeans will think that the sun going to rise and them will run away. Jeans are afraid of sunlight. It worked. All those jeans of the sun rise. They didn't know the light was from the fire that burning the straw, and the noise for building the mortar was like the start of the night day. Bandung Pondawasa was angry. He knew Roro Chungrang just tricked him. You cannot fool me, Roro Chungrang. I already have 1999 temples. I just need one more temple. Now, I will make you the 1000 temples. With his supernatural, Bandung Pondawasa made Roro Chungrang a temple. Until now, the temple is standing on Prambanan era center Javanese, and the temple named Roro Chungrang Temple. The moral message of the story of Roro Chungrang is, as a human being, we should avoid imposing our will on others, like what Bandung Bandawasa did to Roro Chungrang. And finally, learn to always keep promise and not cheat others. Thank you.